Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be going into the Darklands. Hopefully you guys are ready. All right, guys, so in between episodes, I've done quite a bit. I even made a compost from actually additions. I also went ahead and got all of the, uh, the materials here that we're going to use to upgrade our tools a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Also, we're going to work on making a bow because today we're going to hop into the between lands or at least try to get there. Um, it's going to be an interesting episode. I recommend you sticking around to the very end because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff going on this episode. Um, but as you can see, I had to go down and get more quartz. The reason I wanted to do that is because I actually can make pretty decent armor out of this stuff. And we're going to need every bit of armor that we can get in today's episode. The, uh, the other armor, I think bronze might be an armor. I don't remember. But I need a chest plate for sure. There we go. Um, so, these guys. I think I'm going to also... Um, I'm going to exchange these boots for uh, slime boots. The reason being, I mean, I'll keep these on me. Because these I need to run really fast, you know. But I do have an issue with these boots. If they break... I'm left without any kind of no fall damage. So um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is make a quick pair of slime boots. They are, it's, it's really this quick. And uh, this slime I got last episode. I don't know if you remember from uh, last episode. Uh, there was like in, in this ravine I was in, there was this random slime blocks all over the place where water was going. And there's terracotta of different colors. Some kind of like weird underground biome. It's really cool looking. Um, but yeah. We're going to swap those out. It does reduce our armor by one. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is kind of full. I need to do something about this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is take the pick out. I don't need the pick on me. I'll go this route and sort of sort that. But there is an upgrade um, for this mod. We have this is the regular backpacks. We've actually unlocked basic backpacks. Um, and I'm not sure if it's any better than this improved backpacks. I know iron backpacks, man. I don't know if they updated. Yeah, iron backpacks. I don't have anything. Improved backpacks. At least I have different upgrades. So I have stone, iron, and gold. So these are not bad. These are really good. And blank upgrades, as you see. And then with one piece of leather with some wood. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and make some of those. We just need a little bit of leather. If I remember where I put my leather. There we go. So I'll take some of that. And we also need some sticks. But yeah, we're going to really, really <laughs> go in today uh, with making a whole bunch of stuff. I just wanted to go ahead and get some of this out of the way. That way we can get our backpack ready to go. Uh, we can actually do the basic wood one right away. And I think you just add this to your bag. And now we get a tier one, we get an extra row. Um, and if we want to make the stone one, we basically do this whole process over again. And I'm actually going to do a couple of these. Let me go ahead and do this one again. And then we're gonna need stone, right? Regular stone. I did organize these and got, uh, got this kind of situated a little bit better. There's two of those. And we're gonna do one on our bag. That upgraded to tier two. And I have iron now. So now I can get it all the way up to iron. Look at that. So it should be a pretty big bag. Look at that. So we have plenty of room for storage. Um, the only thing is I'm going to put this stuff away. For now. And... Uh, we don't want to take anything into the Between Lands that we don't find precious, because I don't know what things the Between Lands are going to change. They do change your, like, they, they basically get rid of your food, all kinds of stuff. They make all your food unedible, so we don't want to bring any kind of food. We're going to have to find food there, uh, pretty much. Um, tools all get uh, kind of, uh, like, wonky when you get there, so I don't even know if we should bring these tools. Um, I know their stuff gets reduced, so that might not be a good idea. I don't know. Some people were saying the Tinker's tools aren't affected. Some were saying just don't bring anything to be on the safe side. So, I don't know. We'll figure that out. I'll keep food uh, not in here. This will all go away before we head out there. Um, but before we go, I do want to make some ranged weapons. Now, this is where we're going to get into 
um, some of the Tinker's range weapon stuff. And uh, I've already made basically all the stuff we're going to need. Um, so I went ahead and made all the templates and stuff, all the uh, things we need. One of the things is bow uh, limb patterns. We're also going to need the bow string pattern. Um, also, we're going to upgrade our tool forge. Let's go ahead and do that. All you need is your tin blocks. You could have done this at the very beginning. Um, also, I was cooking up some seared brick that I ended up making. To get to seared brick, all you got to do is make grout. You can throw that in the millstone. Now that it's automated, it's super easy to go. And there we go. We have some of that. So I'm going to go ahead and make three of these bricks. You could also put regular stone in and cast it in here as well. I think three stone will give you that. And then you can just cast out seared brick. But look at this. We can actually go ahead and make this. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. And we can throw that all in here. Like so. Look at that. We have a tool forge made out of tin. Normally, they're not made out of tin. So it's kind of crazy that it's actually out of tin and not iron. But as you can see, there's everything we need. Bam. Everything's nice and situated. We can access everything. Which is pretty nice. So... Uh, like I said earlier, we need to get into here making a few things. So that's why I also made these crystals. So I have these slime crystals, and of course I got the slime from here. Now I can actually make slime from glue as well. I can take this glue, and I'm pretty sure that I can turn it into a slime block. That'll turn into nine slime balls. So you can convert that over just like that. So if you're having issues getting green slime... It should not be that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and make our limb parts. I'll go ahead and make two. I think it requires two limb parts for the bow. If I'm not mistaken. This is a different one. This is the main bow. That's the one I want to make. The compound bow. Long bow. We are going to need a part. The main part here. And the only thing that's worth casting, I think, would be bronze. Um, iron might even be better. But this will give it like a durability boost. But I don't know. It's kind of for mining. I, I think I might actually go with bone. That's what I'm probably going to do. Because bone will even give it even more damage. So let's go ahead and get our two limb parts. Like that. They're two slimy limb parts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a cast for the large plate. Throw that in here. And I won't use the slime for that. I'll use bone. And that should work, right? And then we're also going to need string. We're going to need something for string. We're just going to use regular string, guys. There's, I don't, I don't think we can use anything else at this point. I don't think hemp will even work. There is a hemp version, but I don't think this version will work, will it? I guess it does. So we, I guess we can use this. We can use the hemp, hemp. No big deal. Uh, we have so much of it. <laughs> That's going to probably be our best way of actually getting string. I just didn't know if it was going to work because it's actually a part of uh, the hemp fiber, I guess, is uh, mixable between immersive engineering as well, which that works. Um, okay, so yeah, we should be able to make this uh, compound crossbow now. Or compound longbow. So we need our two different bow limbs and this guy, right? Uh-oh. You cannot craft this slime longbow at this time, further progression is needed. Okay. So I guess we'll reduce that down and we'll go here. So we can just make a short bow. That that works. Okay. So this has a pretty high durability. I honestly think if we replace one of the bow limbs with bone, let's see. This guy has a durability of 1,000. I don't, I don't think we're going to need something that's 1,000 when we can actually probably boost our durability. Or boost our attack. So let's try this. Let's see what this actually brings it to. Let's replace one of the limbs. You can actually choose which side the limb goes on. As you can see there. Um, so this will do three attack. Knocks it down 600. I'll go with that. So that is a slime bone short bow. With uh, hemp as our string. Awesome. So we get fractured. We get splintering. And we also get slimy. Nice. So look at this. Got this nice bow, but we don't have anything to shoot with. So that's where we have to start making some choices. I think I'm going to go with um, here. The actual arrows. Um, 
and let's figure out what we want to do. All right, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some reed or what you would call sugar cane because it doesn't matter what it's called. It's going to it's going to be called a reed, but um, the reed actually uses sugar cane. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I think if I'm not mistaken, do we have to make a different shaft for the arrows? We do. We have to make a shaft. I didn't actually make one. So here we go. I don't believe. Oh, I did. Okay. So there we go. We're going to do reed shaft. The arrowhead is actually going to be slime. That'll make it easy to repair. Um, and it also gives it a pretty high durability. The attack's not going to be the greatest, but believe me, it's going to be well worth uh, the amount of durability that it has. Um, and then let's go ahead and grab some feathers. Boy, it is super noisy here. And I really miss the speed of those uh, other boots. Okay. So now we should be able to make this out of regular feathers. All right. There we go. And now to craft this. And there we go. So, 170 ammo. Guys, 170. And it's pretty fast. That's, that's not, <laughs> this is a pretty good weapon. By the way, I also put this up here. Oh, I lose my uh, jump boost. I put my uh, table up here. I can't use it at the moment. So there's really no reason for me to worry about it. But uh, yeah, now we have a ranged weapon, guys. Also wanted to talk about this guy, this flint matlock. So I ended up making this. It's just two flint uh, on the top and a bone uh, for the uh, actual arm. This gives us higher damage than our regular sword. Why? I have no idea. And it even has more durability. But this guy, we're going to actually upgrade it today. Uh, and for some reason, I noticed that to upgrade, you have to make the previous version first. For this so let's make the previous version we can add that now and then we can add this to it before like you can't just craft this with metal as far as I was noticing you can't just craft it it wasn't working for me so maybe there's an issue there also notice that this right here you can't craft either because there's a prerequisite and I think the yo-yo is the same way so just keep that all in mind your best bet is probably going with this bow. So I also went out and uh, I noticed a lot of people in the Discord were saying, how about you make a uh, make something using these Venus flytraps? And uh, I went ahead and gathered them all. And look at this. A Darkosto <laughs> Traposto. This thing's supposed to be like a garbage can as far as I, I'm concerned. And you have to plant it. So I might have to bring a block of grass in. But like, yeah, it hurts you. But... Apparently, if you throw, like, stuff into it, it just, it eats it. But yeah, you have to throw it onto it. And it eats the items and just removes them. Um, which I thought was kind of funny. It just eats your items. Also, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my tools a little bit. The only thing I did here was I put a bronze head on it. Um, I'm actually going to upgrade this even more. I want to keep the ecological on it so that way it can repair itself. But I want to also give it magnetic so that way the items are drawn towards me. I think that'd be very handy, especially when items drop directly in the ground. This guy, I'm just going to upgrade it and give it an iron head. That way it does 7.5. I think that's originally, oh yeah, it does 6.5. This is 7.5. Still not anywhere comparable to this, which does 8.65 damage and has a pretty high mining speed. Um, it basically removes the need for these two tools. Um, so I'm basically going to get rid of them. And now I have a matlock. Or a matok. I don't know why I call it matlock. It's a matok. I know you guys are going to message that in the comments about how I pronounce everything. But this right here is a matok. I don't know why I always pronounce it differently. Um, it's just like I, you say it once, it gets stuck in your head and you always remember it that way. Um, and then for the sword, I'm also going to give it a iron. Oh, I guess it doesn't need to have an iron. It doesn't even affect it. See, that's crazy. That just removes a modifier. I'm not even going to worry about that then. Um, so yeah, we just have the sword. The sword is weaker than this guy. I I don't know. <laughs> there's, even, there's no need even having that sword, to be honest. So yeah, we're just going to keep all those tools in the over here. And that gives us even more room in our hotbar. 
and we should be good to go. By the way, guys, I set up some quick automation here on both of these guys. I just put some different hoppers. That way I can just place the uh, wood up here. It automatically keeps dropping in here, and I don't have to hold it in my offhand and keep placing it. Um, but right now, if I don't, if I stand too close to this, it doesn't work properly, but I love that the mat lock actually works on it, <laughs> which is perfect. Um, but yeah, we, we need to go ahead and make a few of these things. Now, I don't know if this is going to get patched later on, but totem torches apparently work in the between lands where normal torches don't. So keep that in mind. It may change. I don't know. But uh, yeah. All right, guys, real quick. I know it was on our list. I know some people are going to be like, oh, why'd you skip over that? So I'm going to go ahead and make it um, the wicker surrounded by this fleece gives us wool, by the way. And that's going to unlock this woolly blanket, which is kind of up here. I don't know why, but it's it's up here randomly and next to the between lands. So um, we're going to fix up. We're fixing to hop on over to the between lands. I'm just kind of getting some of the last things prepped up. Um, I don't think I need to worry about much more. I think I'm literally about ready to go. I think we're ready to go. I just want to have a little bit of food. I'm going to probably keep this on me. I already cleared out the food that was in here. And I hope none of these items get destroyed that are in here. I went ahead and made some of this as well. We're just going to see. Uh, for right now, we're going to head on over there. Um, of course, wait till it's daytime. And, oh, we can't take this either. I don't want to take the sleeping bag. Just in case it breaks. Um, yeah, but we're going to go ahead and take a nap and uh, come back. All right, guys. So if you put slime on these drying racks, you have a chance of getting this stuff. This will give you speed. I don't know if these potions... If these are considered potions uh, in the between lands, we're going to take them just in case. But it gives me speed, so I'm not going to complain there. I mean, that gives me a pretty good speed boost. It's almost as if I'm wearing the shoes, but I'm not. I'm wearing slime boots, guys. So, yeah. But we're going to head right on over here. Um, Not over here. Kind of over in this direction. Because there's something over here that, that basically the between lands altar area um, that we need to get to. And we need to get this this wand. And so we have to kill some of these guys that were guarding it. And believe me, they're not fun to mess with early in the game. Now that we have slime boots, it's not going to bother us at all. Because one of their main uh, weapons is uh, throwing you. Also, I wanted to grab something real quick. Let's grab some wood. Because I almost forgot. Let's grab this wood here. Because we're going to need this. I'm going to go ahead and take the totem. And get it ready. Because I'm actually going to give myself luck. So. Let's set this to. I think it's pig that gives you luck. If I believe so. But yeah. You get a pretty good amount of speed. On here. Um, and if we go up here. I want to see. Oh there it is. Right there. So here's where we, we kind of need to. Uh fight some guys. As soon as we get over here, stuff's gonna start spawning on us. Um, yeah, this guy. Hey, Dark Druid. Welcome. Yeah, don't hit me, please. Don't. Yeah, if you kill them, they do drop stuff. Yep, that's what he does. He picks you up. And he didn't drop anything, but that's okay. That's where we're going to take the wood. And actually, we're going to see if we can't come inside here. And uh, I know they're going to spawn in here. So let's just set this up inside. So this is going to be the base. Pig. I'm pretty sure that gives me luck. There we go. And we just wait for them to spawn. Look at that. We got three of them that spawned. Yep, <laughs> he knew exactly what he's going to do. But because we have slime boots, he doesn't really bother us at all. And that's where this range bow actually is going to come really handy for us. And I love that our nutrition is all the way up, so we basically have two health bars. Uh, our luck is not going to help us if we're way over here. Thank you. So yeah, the, the bow doesn't do that much damage, but for what it does, we might be able to get something out of these guys. 
Give me that. So we must have gotten something. Okay, so we got the uh, talisman piece. We need more. Look at him. Come on. Don't give me that. All right, so I ended up getting this piece right here, which is the next one. We still need a few others. There's, there's a couple here. Um, you can see we have this one to get. Okay, they change. All right. Are you guys going to get harder this time? What's going on? Oh, he dropped it. I noticed it. He dropped it, but this guy looked like he picked it up. Yep, he picked it up. Guys, we now have all of them. And you throw them all in here. And this happens. That was pretty <laughs> epic. The sounds are pretty cool. Um, I love how the shaders totally mess up the shaders that are a part of this. So I have to jump up here, right? Oh, it's inside here. And there we go. So now we have the thing that pretty much opens the portal for us. How cool is that? Um, yeah, we really don't need any of these things. I'm just going to leave them. This is pretty much useless as of right now. We need to make a portal to the between lands now. All right, guys. So the next thing that we need to do, according to this, is we need to click the talisman on a place sapling to create a large portal to the between lands. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I don't know how big this portal is going to be. I was thinking maybe to placing it right here. I think that might be a good place. Um, and seeing how big this thing actually is. Oh, whoa, that is pretty big. Okay. Kind of cool looking, actually. Look at this tree. We can do this to all these saplings, actually. Is this something that can be break? Oh, yeah, we can. This would be kind of cool to build with, to be honest. Yeah, look at this whole thing. Really cool looking. Um, so, we basically have to wait inside the portal to be able to go anywhere. I want to make sure that I have everything out of my inventory. Make sure all this stuff, I think fruit is the only thing that I really need to, I should have ate a little bit more of, that way I had a little bit more health, but I think I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna set all this stuff up. I need to put this back in, get these all, the, all these things in my inventory, ready to go in here. And uh, let's hope, because this is gonna be, become our new home for a little while. There's gonna be a lot of stuff going on in here. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. So let's just step on in. Guys. Oh, no. This is going to be... <laughs> I'm actually kind of nervous. Um, because we're actually going to a dimension that is very dangerous. Okay. Uh, we do have our own uh, special bar. I do notice that. Um... Okay. We're at the between lands. There it is. Okay. Okay. So, where are we at? Are we in a swamp? Um. What was here? What did I have here? I don't even remember. Did I actually have food? Whoa, that bar is already going way down. Okay. Does my map work here? Let's set a marker. So portal home. We'll set a marker there. Okay, good. I think we're in a pretty, I mean, we're not in a bad biome, I don't think. Look at that guy. He's so friendly. Look at him. Look at him. Look how cute he is. Actually, that's a really good model, by the way. Wow, he takes a lot of hits. So this is swamp water. Okay. So what did he drop? He dropped a slimy bone. That sounds yummy. It seems really bright in here. I didn't know there was a daytime in this biome. That's something that's interesting. 
Look at that. There's another one. Okay. What is this? Swamp reed? Oh, this is algae. Alright, well, so we're out looking for some specific stuff that I hope we can end up finding. Um, I don't know if this biome is the best biome for us to be in. There's moss. Okay, so we need to look for bushes, I'm pretty sure. That was like on the list. It was bushes. I hope there's nothing bad here that's going to spawn in the water. I can't be for sure about that. Maybe we don't have the greatest of spawns. Ooh, there's some, uh, there's some ore here. What is this? That was some, some different kind of ore. This stuff's very hard to break, actually. Uh, maybe that, maybe we need to shear that. Hmm. We're really going to have to go through here and uh, find some stuff. That's a pretty looking tree with some mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. Oh, we can eat these. That guy doesn't look friendly. Oh, we should not have ate that. What did we do? Why did we eat that? You know, I'm gonna take some more. I actually liked it a little bit. Yeah, that was that was kind of nice. Hmm. <laughs> I guess as long as we leave that alligator alone, we should be good. If that's what that was, was an alligator. Okay, we have a little lizard. Right? Gecko! Alright, I'm not seeing any bushes. Does this give you, like, gecko meat or something? Nope, we just basically killed an innocent, innocent gecko. Wow. Alright, we're finding, we're finding new biomes. Slowly but surely. Right? I don't know what that is. Like I said, that does not look like a good, good friend. Hmm. All right, guys. So I decided to actually stay near my portal. Um, the main thing that I need is actually this stuff. And if you hollow this thing out, there's actually some good stuff in here. And oh, by the way, yeah, these guys are crabs. They're like the only real threat that I've found so far. But look, we get these crab claws and they're actually pretty good. It's a pretty good material. I do notice that it's it's like it's like the sun is moving very slow. That or it's eternally stuck at this time. I guess it's it's always this time. I don't really know. If it is, that would be kind of nice because if we ever get to solar panels or if there's anything like that, then this would probably be a good place for that. But yeah, this is reed wood. And uh, we can actually make a boat once we get some of this stuff. So once we have some of this reed wood log, I do believe. This is the stuff that's used for crafting everything. Look at that. Look at all the crafting recipes. But we have to make a actual reed wood crafting table first. That's like one of the first things we need. And we also need sticks. I haven't seen any bushes to be able to get sticks from. Um, and also just broke this, which is not good. I think I have, yeah, my other axe. So we use that. That's why I, of course, have both of them. I um, wonder what this is. Something drop uh, feathers? Oh, dragonfly wings. Well, that was nice. I didn't have to kill any. They just dropped them. Ooh, there's a lightning bug. wonder if that's something we can get. Ooh, I don't want to go down there. Look at that. Yeah, it didn't look like he dropped anything. No. There's more dragonfly wings. <laughs> Yep, so basically I just need to trim all of the uh, logs here. And we're going to use that to make a craft table. Like, all of this stuff is like a new world. This is like a completely different world, guys. It's kind of crazy. Um, oh, I noticed what turned in the rotten... It was the speed uh, potions. That's what it was. Basically, those guys are gone. Oh, well. 
It was true when it said no potions. Should have just followed the instructions. But I didn't. Yeah, it does... Is the sun moving? I can't tell. This whole biome is so weird. This whole whole thing. But yeah, we do need to clear out an area. And I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And I'll be back. Alright, so as of right now, I think frog legs are by far the best food getting started. Um, I do need to make a crafting table. Weed, weed wood. The weed wood crafting table, right? So weed wood planks, how do we get that? Oh, we have to go back home. Okay, let's do that. All right, so let's get chopping on this stuff. So I think that should be enough. Man, that is really loud, by the way. I'm glad we can bring this over, but we can't bring our other stuff over, right? Right. Okay. It's almost as if we should probably make base inside that thing. Inside of our po portal room. Since we have to go back and forth. Or maybe we just have to go back and forth for right now. I don't know. Uh, did any of our food in here... Did, okay, so our food doesn't go bad in here. <laughs> Does, uh, I guess it completely disappears, but we do have this stuff, um, which this can be turned into this, through this thing. Ooh, we need to find octane ingots. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we have to do. But yeah, time to go back. All right, guys, so I'm sure this is a bug, but I was able to bring my steak dinner in with me. <laughs> as funny as that sounds. Um, it did work, which was uh, kind of weird. Um, I ended up getting an angler tooth just by walking around. Um, and then something attacked me earlier. And uh, I got a ball of sap. And apparently, this is supposed to help with something, I guess. I don't know. It said find a cure. I don't even know what that actually come from. Um, oh, it opened up. Uh, oh, we have a whole new section. Oh, whoa. I didn't know we had all these. Oh, wow, this took us all through this. Okay, so there's a whole... Basically, like, tutorial on how to get everything. Okay, okay. So, let's go ahead and first make uh, the crafting table. Okay, so there we go. We have a crafting table. I do notice... Is my FOV really small? I feel re... I feel like it's really small. I think we can make a boat, right? Yes. This is going to be very helpful. <laughs> we got to go we got to go find some bushes. Okay, so this thing is pretty epic looking. Okay, I don't know. If we're stuck on something. Okay, this is super cool. It's real, like, you have to hold your WASD keys, but you do... Wow, this is so weird. You have to... Basically, you have to actually row your boat. As funny as that sounds. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I'm really enjoying this. Guys. This is, this is about as immersive as it gets. This doesn't even feel like the same game. Alright guys, so I think I've stumbled upon a different biome. Okay, does uh... Doesn't want to let me out. Okay, where's my boat? I have to make a new one? Oh well. This is where we should find those bushes. But it's also apparently a pretty dangerous area as well. Oh, here's those bushes. Good. Oh, there he is. 
Uh, the sword does a pretty good damage. Not bad. But yeah, we're gonna need all of this so we can make a, a sword. I think we can do that all on the fly as well. Wow, this is so interesting. I don't even want to leave this world. Ah, it's so nice. I think we can pop and uh, actually make a quick crafting table and see what that sword is actually like that it, it wants you to use. Right? So like this. I think it's like a regular sword with the planks. That is something we can make. That is not as good as this sword. Sorry, but it's not. It's nowhere near as good. I wonder if the bone one's better. Can't this make a sword? This does five damage. It's a little bit better. Not exactly what I'm wanting, though. Yeah, I'm going to gather up as many of these sticks as I can. I'm sure we're going to need them. I think this world, I think the sky is actually supposed to be black. Completely black. The shaders are kind of changing the way that looks. Um, still, it's like a, it's this time of day, though. So the stuff is actually still lit up. Which is kind of interesting. I did notice there's this guy right here. I don't know if we should go check that out or not. It looks like stuff's changing on it. Which is kind of weird. But it does seem kind of like a dungeon. Maybe we should check it out. I don't know. Oh, there's my boat. Hi, boat. Can you uh, stick around? Thank you. So yeah, let's go, let's go check it out. Maybe there'll be pots or something in there. They're supposed to be like pots. I don't exactly know what this is. Okay, advancement made. So we did do something right. There's a crab nearby. Get you too. Get out of here. Can you stop? These guys are so annoying. All right, guys, let's see what's inside this thing. I really have no idea what to expect. Well, is there something here? Oh, a block of octane. Is that all that's in here? That's all this is? No way. Oh, there's another one. Well, this is nice. I will take all of that. I'm pretty sure we're that's a crafting recipe. We're going to need that later. Huh. I'm just making sure that I got all of it. There's nothing else here. There was two blocks of it, though. Okay. So good. I know this one's gone. Um, We're still looking for some other stuff, though, but that was kind of nice. Is that killing the slime? Can you get over here? Leave me alone. And the crabs are just really bugging me. But yeah, I guess we have to go find some more stuff. Oh, look, guys, it's a rock crystal sample. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, that was kind of funny that's sitting here. Um, I think next we need to find these trees right here. Apparently, they give me sap, which is something that I'm going to be needing. So, right, if I mine them, maybe I have to use the, the, law, the axe. Ah, yes they do. So they give me sap. And I think this is supposed to heal that other bar. Yes. Okay, what is hitting me? Something was definitely hitting me. So we need to grab as much of this as we can. That is really going to help. There we go. We're getting somewhere, guys. Let's get this bar all the way up. I really don't know what's hurting me, though. Is it that frog? Kind of crazy that we have to worry about two hunger bars. I did notice something kind of weird looking over here. Ow. Oh, these, these bushes. This biome's horrible with that. You just can't see anything. Oh, these... This is so cool looking. Oh, there's another one. Thank you for all that. 
Wow, this is pretty nice. This is like a pretty nice looking area here. I wish we would have spawned here. That'd be a, been much nicer. Oh, that's mud. Mud is like quicksand. It brings you down. Huh. This whole area is so cool looking. Yeah, look, we're in mud. So we get stepped up. There we go. Ooh, I don't like that sound. Yeah, I'm just kind of wandering around. Trying to watch my step. Try not to take huge amounts of damage. That would be no good. And try my best not to step in that. Oh. What do we have here? Sulfur ore. Guys, this is pretty cool. Wow, lots of it. I'm gonna take all of this. I totally forgot about mining. We need to be doing some mining. There's some more bone. I wonder, my prospecting tool? It could probably tell me a lot. I almost forgot I need to sort all my stuff. That might be a good idea. Let's see, prospecting tool? Did I pull you out and put you back in? But like, it tells, it, it doesn't tell you. I was gonna say, it might tell me if that's there, but it doesn't. Well, that's interesting. We definitely need to do some mining. That is some good looking cobblestone as well. Okay, so I ended up stumbling upon this and this is a horrible biome. Um, <laughs> Cause you just basically have to jump all over the swamp water. Um, but this guy has blocks up here. And there's these birds flying in the sky. I have to keep a lookout for that. Let's see, can I break these? I'm gonna be like Link and, oh, oh, what the? That scared the far out of me. No, don't do that. Why would you do that? No. I gotta take a breather. <laughs> that was scary. Okay. I guess sometimes when you break the, the pots, they give you horrible things. Oh, like, never mind. That, that happens all the time. Can you not, please? Can you get away, spider? Oh, that is horrifying. Look at his mouth moving. I do not like that at all. I'm not scared of spiders or anything, but... I mean, ow. Get out of here. Maybe I should quit breaking those things. Oh, this is a horrible biome. Horrible to get around in because you have all this mud. And you get stuck in the mud. Yeah, I'm just kind of venturing off. Off. Why is that? Why is that on fire? Well, that was interesting. Um, so yeah, I, I just seen these pillars off in the distance, and I thought I would go check them out. And uh, yeah, I actually unlocked something. Um, I think it's under. What do we have craftsman adventure. So we have ruins. I already found this. We have ruins. Um, that's some big wood. Find a giant reedwood tree. Huh. I haven't found a giant one, per se. It's a button bush. Huh. Keep looking. Alright, so I'm back at the base, and there is a few things that I need to kind of get started with. Um, I don't have to worry about all of this stuff, but for the most part, we're going to get, you know started with it. I think we need to really follow this uh, to be able to get the, the smeltery controller. This is what we need, this gym. But we need a purifier for that. The purifier is pretty simple to make. Let's see, can I convert this? Yes. So this is the purifier. I guess you have to find the octane, which we got really lucky with that. Um, and there we go, we have a purifier. Now, we do need a bucket. Did I bring a bucket on me? Or with me? I thought I did. So I'm pretty sure we need swamp water. Let's go out here. Grab some swamp water. And this gets filled with swamp water. And it needs swamp water to stay running. So we need a couple buckets. Looks like it holds four. Which is perfect. Let's go back to running. There we go. And one more. 
And it runs off that sulfur that we mined earlier. So, this guy's filled up. And I think now what we can do is put the sulfur in there. And we can get this. And we found this earlier when we were mining. Uh, actually, in the water over here. Just right in the water. So this is supposed to turn out and give us this gem we need. Look at that. The Aqua Middle Gem Ore. This gives us the Aqua Middle Gem. I hope. I hope it's 100% chance. Look at that. Aqua Middle Gem. Now we can create a smeltery controller. Guys. Was that hard? I don't think that was very hard. Uh, we have these other gems that I'm not sure exactly what they do yet. Like the this one. The green middle gem. I'm not exactly sure. It looks like it's used for a bone chest plate. Okay. Uh, it can be used later on to make other things in this, this mod. Okay. So kind of interesting. Man, there was a lot we done we had done today. Um, there's a lot to this mod. I was kind of thinking it was going to be a lot scarier than it is. Maybe we just haven't found anything that hor horribly scary. Like, I haven't tried fighting one of these guys. Look at him. Look at him try and get me. Yeah. I just haven't done it yet. Well, as you can see, it's not hard at all, is it? <laughs> Um, but yeah, also these, these trees are the ones that provide the balls of sap. I guess go after those as fast as you can. And then, uh, I recommend making the bone sword before this sword. But then again, this sword is actually better than that one, so why even bother? Um, it does seem like the Tinker's tools are not affected by any of the things that this normally would change. So, yeah, that was pretty easy. Oh, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.